My name is Luke Vincent. I'm an engineering director at Google, and I've been here seven and a half years. Google Maps, to me, is the next generation maps. It's online. It's connecting people to places. It's giving you direction. It's showing you the world as it is. Uh, it, is uh, it is about uh, letting people connect to information that's geographic in nature. <laughs> Street View uh, was, uh, in fact, Larry Page's idea. The notion was that there was a lot of interesting information and imagery taken at street level. And he thought that it might be interesting to put cameras on cars, drive around, and then organize this information. So he drove around the Bay Area and Stanford with a camcorder, collected several hours of video footage, and gave it to Mark Levoy at Stanford, uh, a computer vision professor there, and, and uh, asked him to do some interesting work with this. And when I joined Google, my 20% project from day one was to work with the Stanford team and help them succeed. So first, we, we just had to hack together a car that would collect the information that, uh, that we needed. We mounted uh, you know, GPS equipment and various cameras in the car and uh, computers in the, in the trunk. I think everything that could go wrong went wrong. We, uh, in fact, had so many issues with just getting enough power uh, from the car that we, uh, at some point, had to uh, put a generator on the roof. Every day there were some new problems, uh, problems having to do with hard drives crashing or not being able to, you know, recover after the driver went into a pothole, for example. We had to drive very slowly in the first prototype, of course, so we could capture images that's not too blurry. Uh, that caused often, you know, traffic jam behind the car, that caused pedestrians to look at the car pretty funny. So we, uh, we had to, um, you know, try to blend in even though we're doing weird stuff on the road. Once we got some, uh, some funding, some, when, when the project became real, we decided to build uh, what we called the uh, a uh, classic van, what became known as a classic van. We put essentially a full data center in the back. We put two types of cameras on it. We had big rosettes. We had lots of lasers. We had also high-speed video cameras on both sides. So it was the massive, complicated vehicle. In fact, so complicated that we could never operate this reliably. So we launched Street View, and we see this big uptick in traffic. People seem to like it. We see like big, big spike. So we thought, oh, gee, this is actually going to work. So we should scale. And uh, by scaling, I mean, we should expand the coverage. Uh, and, uh, and there, we figured that we couldn't really do it with this van. So we changed our strategy completely. We said, you know what, let's just use off-the-shelf components. Let's build something really cheap and simple and scale that. So Street View started, obviously, with, well, with cars driving on roads. But in the back of our mind, we always wanted to expand beyond this. So we, uh, uh, we started thinking about ways to go first to areas accessible by bicycles. Uh, so imagine university campuses or, you know, pedestrian areas of, of downtowns. So we, we created this tricycle, which was essentially uh, a heavy-duty tricycle with all the equipment that's normally on a car mounted on it. Uh, then we went beyond this and wanted to go uh, to areas where you could not go um, but with skis. And so we mounted the equipment on a snowmobile, and we've taken this to a number of uh, ski resorts uh, in the US and, uh, and in Europe. We also decided that once our equipment was reliable enough and small enough that we could mount it on uh, what we call a trolley. So it's a push cart. We can wheel around large indoor spaces. And we also have the ability to capture imagery uh, using more off-the-shelf uh, cameras and tripods and go into very, very hard places. This project to me has always felt awesome because we really delivered to people information that they never thought they could access so easily and so readily and so conveniently from, from their homes or from wherever they are with their cell phones. And, uh, you know, it's, it's actually changing the way people, you know, interact with the world. For example, when they discover new places, uh, often they actually are more interested in going by themselves. And we've, uh, we've seen, we have examples, for example, in Pompeii, where after we launched uh, the old city of Pompeii in Street View, uh, the uh, uh, Italian tourism office uh, told us that they had seen an increase in food traffic uh, to the order of 30%, uh, just because more people had discovered it and wanted to go see it. So we see examples like this over and over, and it feels great to be part of this, this effort to sort of make the world more accessible to everybody. So my dream is that in five to 10 years, perhaps more, we have imagery uh, in sort of any public space in the world, period. So we, anywhere a user wants to look at a public space, whether it's indoor or outdoor, we deliver great imagery. It's beautifully connected to each other. It's got 3D attached to it, so we can navigate more easily. So that's, that's sort of the dream. That's what we're aiming towards.